Goes in this evening. That's into the path of Bama Yang. First real chance. Well, we know at the pace of Mbappe Lotte, and this is the pace of Aubameyang, the way he spins away down the left-hand side, away from Jemison. Instant first-time shot, but just scoops it. As he strikes, you can see Andalis, who will be at Barcelona, and the list goes on. Now, can Lotte get it behind? Was there a little nudge there? It's a penalty! Just the slightest touch by Socrates, and down went the Monaco player. Well, this is what... Can he deny it? Hasn't made a penalty save since July 13. Didn't need to because it went horribly wide. What a let-off. What a massive moment in this game. I think he's got pace, he's got guile, creativity, and he'll run and run. And he's brought Lamar in. Big chance, a cross goal. And it's bounced in off Lotta. And Mbappe Lotta scores for Monaco. I don't think he knew a lot about it. It was a brilliant run by Benoit. Silva, Lamar should he have shot, should he have crossed, he did, and he went in, and that's all that mattered, they squandered the penalty, they have the lead. What a classic counter-attack, and it was all led by Bernardo Silva, brilliant run down the right-hand side, and then he had the awareness to pick out Lamar, who was a free man on the left side, I'm not so sure if he actually shoots, or whether it's a cross shot, or a miss hit, whatever it is, it goes to the right man with passes. That's better. That's in behind now, and they get the cross of him, get to his on the inside rag, he twists out again. Oh, it was so near. So near, Kagawa found space just outside the six-yard box, and really from there should have scored. Well, he's got to hit the target, because Gita does really well down the right, and turns inside Raggy, and then Lamar. raggy has got forward into space. Settles, decent crossing, oh, it's an over! in the cross and it's gone enough then that he claims he was uh, clipped there by Falcao in the middle it's two well Bradley was actually remonstrating that he had acres of space on the left hand side and Lamar who's in field eventually finds him with acres of space to cross the ball he, he sizes it up you can see he's got time and space he's not pressurized and he just winds that ball into the air of uncertainty between the keeper and the defender and for me there's no argument that clearly is a own goal. There's no contest. And Mele, Mondo can change it all. It's a lovely ball through. It's offside. Offside. Well, there's just a glimpse of that dead belly trickery that we know he's capable of. When he gets on the ball in these situations, body swerve, moving the ball. Shaheen with a good run. Oh, it was dangerous and it was stabbed away by Pavini. They've got some attacking intent on there now, Dortmund. And Pulisic is left ragging behind him. And the defender couldn't get back at him. There's Dembele, good block. This time it was Jemison who came to meet the ball. Made a real difference. Shaheen. Guerrero gets his cross in. Abameyan, Kakawa! It's in by Dembele. This time it's Monaco who looked for a flag that didn't come. And the game has been turned on its head. What a start of the second half for Thomas Tuchel and Borussia Dortmund. And Thomas Tuchel has got to take a lot of credit for the bold substitutions that he's made. Sahin has contributed, working the ball wide to Guerrero. This is an unbelievable back heel from Aubameyang into the bath of Kagawa. By Bernardo Silva, slammed in by Guerrero. Big to touch that didn't come. Oh, it was needed. Brilliant work from Guerrero. Initially keeping it in. Mourinho quickly drops back into that central position. Good work by Monaco. So he looked now for Falcao. He's got it here around the goalkeeper. Oh, goodness. That would have wrapped up this game and very possibly the tie and a Champions League semi-final would have been beckoning. Well, it's a wonderful ball from Lamar. Great first touch from Falcao. Goalkeeper Burke is in absolutely no man's land. He's committed. Addition. I wouldn't surprise many of you to hear that Monaco are the actual youngest. Oh, that's risky. And it's spawning here to Mbappe. Can he seal it now? Mbappe! Oh, what an accomplished finish! They have the two goal buffer. And 
that one could settle it tonight and that one could settle the tie and very much now a Champions League semi-final spot beckons for Monaco they are 3-1 up at Borussia Dortmund in the first leg well, Jonathan, if there was any question mark about the first goal that Mbappe might have been offside, there was no question about his quality here. He capitalises on the mistake. The ball's played square. He nips it, he cross, and away from Socrates, drives to the centre. with it, that's for certain. Nuri Shaheen. Dulisic can't get away from Raggy. Good cross in. Kagawa, brilliantly done! Terrific game of football, and they're back in the tie again. Dortmund two, Monaco three. Well, it hasn't disappointed, has it? We knew there was going to be goals in this tie. Kagawa does brilliantly. First, he evades the challenge of Moutinho, turns inside Jemison, and then a superb finish to the outside of the right. Yeah. Shinji Kagawa and Bele come back on side. Timed it well. Hooks the cross in. Dangerous with Bamiyang underneath it. Big opportunity to level the tie. They won a penalty. They think he was impeded. Well, there was certainly contact as Aubameyang goes for the header. And I think it's, it's Glick, who's on the wrong side. He gets his left arm across Aubameyang. Does he pull him to the ground? You can see it's Glick's left get the scraps. Didn't come, though. The referee checks his watch. He blows his whistle. It has been a famous first leg victory for Monaco. Thomas Tuchel's half-time changes certainly.